Must do things in Amsterdam. In this video, we'll be looking at the best must do things during your visit in Amsterdam. Subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications for more budget travel content. Let's get into the video. Also, stick till the end for some free tips to do there. Number six, cruise along the Dutch canals. Amsterdam is a city shaped by water, and its canals are its most iconic feature. They are lined with historic buildings, bridges, and houseboats. The best way to appreciate the beauty and experience it is to take a boat tour along them. You can choose from different cruises, such as sightseeing, dinner, or hop-on, hop-off tours, or rent your own boat and explore at your own pace. Night cruises are also magical to experience when fairy lights illuminate them and create a romantic atmosphere. Typical cruises last one to one and a half hours and cost about 20 euros. It's easy to book their tickets online, but there's a hack to do it for free. I will mention it later in the video. Number five, explore the red light district. You know it's a big must do thing in Amsterdam. De Wallen is Amsterdam's largest and best known red light district. As prostitution is legal and regulated in the Netherlands, it is one of the city's most notorious and fascinating areas. You can see sex workers displaying themselves in windows along the narrow streets. It also has a lively nightlife scene, with bars, clubs, and coffee shops where you can buy and smoke marijuana and enjoy the shows. If you want to involve in the act, it costs about 50 to 100 euros for 30 minutes. The best time to get here is obviously during the night. But it is not only about sex, though. It also has some historical attractions, such as the Ude Kirk, the oldest church building in Amsterdam. Number four, enjoy the tulip fields at Kuchenhof. If you have seen these pictures of tulip fields over the internet and wondering where it is, this is Kuchenhof in Amsterdam. Over seven million flower bulbs are planted yearly here, and it's a joy to watch the whole field covered in different colored flowers during the spring blooming period. It is open only for eight weeks during the year, for 2023, they are open from the 23rd of March to the 14th of May. You have to book a time ticket early, which costs around 20 euros. There's only limited time left to visit there this year. So if you're in Amsterdam, book it quickly. It is usually crowded during the daytime. So the best time to visit is early in the morning or late afternoon to escape the crowd. Number three, free guided walking tour. One of the best ways to explore Amsterdam and its history, culture, and architecture is to join a free guided walking tour. Several companies offer free guided tours, such as Sandeman's New Europe and free tours by feet. You can choose from different themes, such as the city highlights, the red light district, or the alternative Amsterdam. The tours usually last around two to three hours and depart from the National Monument at Dam Square. You are accompanied by a local experienced guide and they work solely on tips. So tip them afterwards based on your experience. Also, taking the tours at the start of your trip is better. Guides can give you plenty of recommendations on attractions to visit, places to eat, etc. That would make your trip a lot better. Bonus tip. The best way to save money during your Amsterdam visit is by getting an I Am Amsterdam City card. You have five options to choose from one day to five day passes starting at 60 euros. The more time you get it for, the more saving you make. With this card, you get admission to 70 world-class museums, top attractions and activities, unlimited travel in Amsterdam public transport, bike rent for a full day, and one free boat cruise over Amsterdam's historic canals. The link to get it is in the description. As I mentioned earlier in the video, you get a complimentary boat ride for free after getting this pass. Number two, enjoy the nightlife at Leidseplein. Amsterdam is one of the liveliest cities in the world, and Leidseplein is its central hub for entertainment and nightlife. You can find many theaters, pubs, clubs, and live music venues. You can also see street performers such as musicians, jugglers, magicians, and comedians entertaining the crowds. It's a great place to spend your night after an eventful day. Most places here stay open until 3 a.m. on the weekends and as long as 5 a.m. If you're a party animal and want to save some money, get the Amsterdam Nightlife Ticket. It starts at 10 euros for a one-day pass and up to 20 euros for a seven-day pass. It lets you entry in most of the bars, clubs, and special events in the city, plus some extra perks like free drinks, discounted shots, and many more. Number one, visit the Floating Flower Market. This is the only floating flower market in the whole world, and it has been operating since 1862. 
As Amsterdam is famous for its flowers, especially tulips, you can see them in all their colorful glory at this market. It's on the single canal between the Koningsplein and the Muntplein. You can browse through hundreds of stalls selling fresh flowers, bulbs, seeds, souvenirs, and more. The market is open daily from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. and easily accessible by tram. If you're an Instagram influencer, it will rack up enough likes for you. So these are the must-do things while visiting Amsterdam. Which one are you doing on your next visit? Let me know in the comments. Also, follow us on Instagram at Cheap Travel Buddy for more content. Have a good day. Keep traveling.